Along the way, though, there are obviously failures, mm -hmm. you know, and, and we've listened to some stories already today of, of people who have experienced those failures and gotten over the hump. Uh, was there something when you hit that bump in the road that got you over and, and even continue because failure never ends, right? I mean, we're, we're always kind of hitting the wall and having to recharge, reinvent, do things differently. Um, how have you dealt with failure? Yeah, I, I think I've, I've had a lot of lessons. You know, for me, um, is a lot of my lessons came from basketball. Mm -hmm. um, I, I remember getting, uh, so I played for the Portland, Fi uh, Portland Fire in the WNBA, and um, I, had, I was a starter the year before, um, and we were going into training camp, and I was, you know, the starting point guard coming back. Uh, so, I didn't, you know, you never feel too secure, but, you know, I, I should, should have felt pretty secure as a starting point guard. And um, what happened was fascinating, and it's such a lesson for me because I showed up, um, it's important for me to talk about work ethic, but it was like, you know, I had a routine, you know, I, I had a routine, so I, I showed up at, at the gym early. Uh, I wanted to get shots up, make sure, and I got, um, you know, just mentally ready for, for, for my day. I had such a passion to play basketball. It was, it was amazing. Like, I, I, all I wanted was keys to gyms. That's, that's all I ever and wanted, see, that's or, why, to, or to know how to, how to sneak into a gym. And that's why you were much better than me, because I was trying to find a shopping mall while you were at the gym. So that explains see, it. See, touching the line. Yeah, that's see touching that? the line. You're right. I should have been with you running those sprints. There you go. Um, what were we saying? Oh, Portland Fire. You yeah. wanted to get into the gym. You thought you had the spot locked. Yeah. So I, th I thought I had it locked. And um, so I was there an hour early. My coach comes in, walks through the gym and was like, good morning. And I said, hey coach, you know, so she wasn't real friendly, she just said, and uh, so then I go to the, I was the first one in the training room, I get, I mean, I'm a pro, and I'm this excited about playing basketball. I get my ankles taped, I lace up my shoes, I got a little routine, I'm so excited. And uh, all of a sudden, someone pokes their head in the locker room, says, coach wants to see you. And I was like, okay, so I walk in, Pop down on the chair. Hey, coach, what's going on? She's like, um, Michelle, we're cutting you. And I was like, what? I mean, I really, I was like, what, what do you mean? It's like, uh, we decided to, we made a trade with one of your other teammates and we got the point guard in that we always thought that we wanted. Hello. Um, <laughs> and uh, so you are cut. And I'm a pro, right? I mean, I'm pretty and good. You live in the gym. I and mean, I live what in the more gym. do you want? I mean, geez, don't cut me. Right. So um, anyway, I, I, you know, I had to literally go in the locker room when all my teammates now are showing up for practice, uh, pack up my locker, and because I, I asked the co I asked my coach, I said, well, what do I do? She's like, you gotta, you have to leave. <laughs> okay. And it's like, so I packed up my locker. I mean, what, what are you going to do? You're cut, you're going to stay and watch practice? I mean, how stupid <laughs> yeah. of a question was yeah. that? Yeah. Um, you could have made sure, you could have stayed to make sure everybody touched the line. Exactly. Like, you could have been the official line toucher person. Right. I'm obsessed with that. There you go. <laughs> but go. Touching every line from now on. There you go. Um, but, it, you know, so I walk out in the, in the parking lot and I call, I had to call my agent because I'm like, you know, I got cut and I call my mom, which I do all the time. And I got back to the apartment and it was like, no. I mean, this, this little feisty thing in me, just like, no, I said, call my agent back because I was all sappy and sad. And I called him back and I was like, where is a spot? Where, there, there's, still, there's two more days in training camp. Where can I get a spot? And he's like, Michelle, it's a little late. I mean, there's only two days left in training camp. And um, so he called and called and called around in Seattle, which is only a couple hours from Portland. Um, the coach was like, Michelle, if, if uh, you know, told my agent, if, if she's willing to put herself up, like we're not paying for anything, uh, if she wants to, just, just know that she would be in a, like, a, it, it, it's, it's not going to happen. But yeah, she, yeah, she can show up. They gave you zero chance. They gave me zero chance. And so I packed up a car um, that I was 
that a, a friend, it was a friend that I was, I was borrowing this car um, and drove to Portland, I mean, drove to Seattle, showed up at training camp, and uh, there, was, there was about another, about two and a half days left, and um, I made the team. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, what does that teach you? Right? Isn't it? It's, it's like, and I wasn't the best pro. I was a really good college player. I was, uh, you know, when we first started playing, and I played in the ABL, which was the, yep. first, the first league. I made the all-star team. Um, and the WNBA was just like, like, now all of a sudden, all the talent was in the WNBA. And, and so um, I wasn't like the best, but I was, I held my own. And um, I stayed in Seattle for a couple of years and then retired. Um, but I just had that grit to, to just say, say, no, uh, you're not, I'm better than that. You're not cutting me. Um, and I want to play. I wanna, I'll go anywhere, you know, and when your back's up against the wall, you know, I, I just think you, you do things that, you know, that if it's important enough to you, you figure it out and you don't, you don't just sit there and cry and, you know, feel sorry for yourself.